Assembly line balancing is a subject of active research. Uh, the problems considered typically um, right, uh, involve a set of tasks that must be allocated among stations. And those tasks, in addition to having some processing time, which is shown here with the number above each uh, node, uh, the, the, the number inside is just uh, a, 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 an, an index of the task, right? The tasks also have dependencies, which we call precedence relationships. What this means is, for example, task 10 requires that task 1 is finished before task 10 is started. And also, uh, when it is finished, we can perform task 11 and task 12, right? And so precedence relationships are not uh, linear, as we had in our example um, for the, the Nova Cruz scooter, right? They are, um, there are some partial dependencies. So we have, for example, with task 11 and task 5, we can do either of them first or second, but uh, task 11 and task 10 are, are dependent. Task 10 has to be finished before 11. Notice they can be actually done on the same station, but they can also be done on, a, on, a, uh, on different stations, as long as 10 is on an earlier station than 11, right? So if we were to uh, schedule those tasks, right, uh, one can, for example, try to assign them in a forward manner. And uh, there is a heuristic that was published quite long ago from 1963, which um, produced, which, which, um, uh, tries to find the best possible set of tasks for each station one at a time and then builds a solution forward. And, uh, and then in this example, it actually creates a lot of idle time for the last station and even the second last has some more idle time, right? Assuming the cycle time for which we design is 16 uh, time units. Now, um, my own work uh, from 2003, we created a bidirectional heuristic, applying the Hoffman heuristic from 63 bidirectionally in multiple times. And this kind of heuristic can create solutions that are sometimes better in terms of the, the saving one or more stations. So you see for this example, the solution is actually um, three stations forward, four stations backward, and the total stations utilized are now seven compared to the earlier solution, which was created in one direction uh, that had eight stations utilized. So, of course, we can now save because we need one less worker, for example, to produce this. Uh, in more recent uh, papers, often consider uh, robotic assembly lines. And so this is an example of, a, of an assembly line which installs components on printed circuit boards, um, right? And the... Um, uh, there are robots, right? So the idea is this is five stations. This is symbolizing the robot that is actually installing components on the printed circuit boards. But the interesting thing is that the boards themselves, the products, uh, are uh, wider than the space that is accessible by a robot. And so, for example, in this case, this robot can install parts on this side, the gray part visible by this uh, or accessible by this robot. And this robot could work on the same product on these parts, right? So the problem becomes more interesting because you don't have, like a scooter was, uh, the, the example of the scooters, scooter was always on one station. In this case, products might extend uh, across different stations. And then you have to work in such a way that when you stop the movement of those products, which are on some kind of conveyor belt, uh, you have to stop them at such a time where the robot can install the components and have enough work during each uh, stage, right? So the problems become different, right? Uh, the balancing act uh, is still necessary, assembly line balancing and optimization in order to utilize this well. And also the interesting part is that uh, the boards can be, uh, you know, some products that are produced might be shorter, some might be longer. So the product really changes its nature. It could be that we have boards that extend over more than three stations, even four or five stations at the same time. So the problem becomes interesting. I actually have a work uh, in 2017 that is produced, uh, proposing a, a mathematical model to optimize this kind of assembly line.